What's up guys? So I'm heading from uh, Southern California to the Bay Area. It's about a eight to nine hour drive. So I'm gonna document everything with superchargers, all that good stuff, the food, everything. So we did a previous video from NorCal to SoCal. So now we're going SoCal to you know, NorCal. Um, currently we left San Diego around 90% save charge. I'm heading first to Camarillo. Um, and then I'm gonna get some food there, hang out with some friends and um, all that good stuff and then uh, I'm going to show you guys the charging schedule. So first stop Camarillo, we left at 90, around 60%, we probably got to LA and I'll show you guys the road. So now guys, so here at my first stop at the charger, um, they have a cool little Nike store here. Um, it's kind of like an outlet and checking out the shoes. So this is in Thousand Oaks. One of the cooler things is that a lot of them, there's actually like a place where you can wash your car. Um, I'll show you guys that in a bit, but it's pretty cool. Um, got a lot of Nike stuff here. I'm walking around, all the stuff is on sale and found some good shoes, but probably won't buy it. A little, uh, not, not my style, but um, pretty fun and nice place to walk around during the charge. So I'll show you guys the place. A lot of Team USA gear being that it is the Olympics now and my great shorts and tank tops for working out at the Nike store. So I won't buy anything, but fun place to walk around. Thought about getting these from the fan 29s. They're super comfortable. I just got them on my feet right now, but probably won't buy it. You know, like these as well, Air Maxes. Big Air Max guy fan. Been a big fan of these shorts now too, actually. They look really cool. So here is the supercharging station. You got a whole bunch of Teslas. You have this NOH2O. Uh, looks like they clean your car um, as you wait and chill. A lot of great looking cars. We got my Model 3 back there. And uh, a whole bunch of other cars. This car is pretty sick. Here in Thousand Oaks, got a whole bunch of Teslas. The supercharger, it's about 150 kilowatts. Um, came here with like 30%, leaving from San Diego. All right. I left San Diego around 90%, got here around 30 or so, and I'm just charging to 100, which is kind of interesting. So, pretty cool. This is dude right here, chilling in my room. And I'm probably gonna get to 100, we'll see. Maybe leave at 95, and then head to the bay. So, first stop is the Thousand Oak Stop Charger in Camer near Camarillo. Fun fact, I think Drake has a house here. My buddy said he served him before. So yeah, Thousand Oaks. All right guys, so here I am driving um, up to NorCal, some pretty windy roads. Chose not to use autopilot uh, because the car kind of squerves a bit too much and it gets kind of uncomfortable for me. So I chose not to use autopilot here. But as you can see, the scenery is really pretty. It's really beautiful. And it's just like a nice trip and drive when you're using your Model 3. 
here I am on I-5, just driving north for a while. Um, the sunset's really pretty, and I have autopilot on because it's just a straight ride. And when you're just going on a straight ride, it's really chill. It's really relaxed, and you can just enjoy the view and the scenery and just go straight for hours. So autopilot is clutch. Next stop on the trip, we are stopped here at uh, Kelman City. So they've got a couple of superchargers, as you can see here. This one's at 250 kilowatt hours, and the ones over, like in front of me, are at 150 kilowatt hours. So they got a merch store um, where you can buy, I think, merch, use the bathroom, all that good stuff. I'll show you guys, but I think it's closed. So here's a 150 kilowatt hour supercharger. Here is the merchandise store at Tesla, uh, Kelman City. You can't go inside. It looks like it's closed. It's Saturday evening right now, so it makes sense. Oh, look at this guy in here. Thank you. Yep, you bet. Here is the merch store. It's open. I was wrong. Pretty sick. Um, got the Wi-Fi. They've got snacks. There's a coffee bar. Here is the inside of this. It's like a Mach 3. We've got chairs, the cubicles, and we've got a restroom. Pretty nice restroom. Here's more footage, y'all. So it's empty, but when it's open, it looks pretty cool. Here's Tesla's solar power wall. And then a lounge area. Hope you guys enjoyed. So I ended up going to in and out to get food, by the way. Um, but pretty cool. I've never been here before. I want to buy stuff, but looks like it's closed. And here is the whole place. So if you guys are ever curious, this is the Kettleman City um, Supercharger. This is a destination charge if you want to kind of take a slow. Charging, I'll be here for about 45 minutes to get to 100, and it's going about 558 miles per hour. So it's charging at 45 minutes to get to 100. We're at 554 miles per hour, and we'll probably get, stay until 80, 90, but it's just kind of cool. Alrighty, let's go eat. Here I am on another super long road, AKA driving down I-5. Yes, I-5 does get very boring, but when you're driving from SoCal to NorCal, it's just a straight shot. So you're literally just chilling, sitting on the driver's seat, autopilot is on, got my YouTube music, got YouTube on, um, blasting Spotify, and just kind of enjoying the trip as I drive up to the bay from SoCal. So autopilot comes in clutch once again. So just got to the last supercharger. Um, the last supercharger. I'm here in Bishop Ranch, the San Ramon area. I'm at the 150 kilowatt hour charger. We got here at 9% after leaving Kelman City around 95. Um, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna charge up one last time before I go home. Um, and it's like around 12:30 now. We think we left um, San Diego around say 11 o'clock, hung out in LA, got to LA around three because of the traffic, hung out in LA till like six, got to come into the around nine, charged, and then left at around like 9.30, 10. And then here I am um, at like, it's like 12.30 right now. I'm in San Ramon doing my one last charge um, and then about to head home, so. I have a crazy journey. I went to in and out afterwards, which was pretty cool. Um, and I got to check the inside of the Tesla Kelman City. Enjoyed it. 
overall the trip has been pretty chill honestly like it's a very if you guys have ever driven from la or southern california to the bay area it's just a straight drive on i-5 so i'm just literally sitting there all day and i'm enjoying it like it, it's a lot easier than driving a gas car that's for sure i mean you fly a plane that's part number one but well i just can't just fly a plane and then head to uh head to wherever we need to go so for me at the mall through performance really fun car to drive looks cool too so um yeah really enjoying this trip so far so good uh, i'm gonna charge here till around probably 60 70 maybe even 80 percent we'll see how it goes get some steps in um and then i'll be good to go so hope you guys are enjoying this vlog um i ate in and out for dinner and had a kind of like an energy drink to kind of keep me awake i know it's not the best but hey um unfortunately that's the one thing i do have to complain about when you're in superchargers a lot of the ones kind of like on the i5 um a lot of the restaurants are all like fast food and you can't really yeah kind of kind of go with that or, or you just don't eat um and honestly i didn't pick the best food choices um so but anyways i'm heading home in a bit after this is done charging and i'll continue to vlog i appreciate you guys keeping on watching our videos so this is supercharger number three and i should be done after supercharger number three peace what's going on everyone so i ended up getting home like at three in the morning last night i'm super tired super gassed um but yeah i ended up arriving around with 48 percent stay of charge at home um we left like um <clears throat> san ramon around 70 percent so yeah pretty good i'm about to go to the charger at the mall charge the car hit the gym and um just kind of get things going and then i'm gonna go wash the car as well i'll show you guys all that and then give you a recap of the trip overall i was so tired when i got back but to be honest with you autopilot was a savior i don't have full self driving and it made the trip 10 million percent easier um, i'll give you like a breakdown of everything too when i get back from the gym and from washing the car so see you guys in a bit what's going on everyone so trip was a success i supercharged three times in order to get from socal to norcal um each charge around like shoot 30 45 minutes definitely could have been faster but a lot of times I just wanted a break to have dinner, relax, eat food, and just chill. Um, especially when you're driving that long. Some people take gas cars, I know those fill up for 10 minutes, go, go, go. But for me, I need those driver stops because I was getting exhausted and tired. But other than that, um, it was took me three supercharging trips uh, for me to get to SoCal and NorCal, made a couple pit stops. If I didn't make those pit stops, I definitely feel like I could have died just in two supercharging trips where they'd probably be 30 minutes each and it would have been that bad. But overall, it was a success. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget, I have a free uh, 1,000 miles uh, supercharging uh, miles if you do use my link below and order a Tesla. So... I like the Model 3 performance, it's fun for me, but that Model S Plaid, Model S Long Range 2021 is looking real good, so check that out. Uh, click the link below. Appreciate you guys uh, watching this. I'll be coming out with merch soon, so like, comment, subscribe, keep watching Tesla Journey, and I'll be getting more content videos for you guys. Appreciate you guys. Peace.